a, a few more chapters. Oh, good. Yeah. And I'm, I'm calling it my stupid book. Congratulations. And then when I write a second one, I can call it my second stupid book. My third stupid book. And if you want to collaborate, we could call it our stupid book. It's the stupid brand. But here are some more chapter titles from Stupid Babies that I'm going to use. Connor's Wedding, which... <laughs> I don't know who Connor is. You do if you watch Succession. That's really funny. Oh, gotcha. Um, salami Nipples. You gotta have a chapter called Salami Nipples. Um, Unda Hunda Hun. No, once again, nobody wants to hear you. Satan's opinions. Penis featuring Tandoori Chicken. <laughs> My Poop Routine. <laughs> Tasty Nuts, which I've said before is wonderful. And here's, you know, Up Na Time Iga. That'd be an obvious one, right? But how about, how about Pee Pee Poopa? And a chapter called VJ Ross. Well, that one you have to. Have to. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm stupid. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for Patreon. Follow us Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. Yeah. Today we have a video from Tired and Refused Productions. We've seen many videos. Many, from many, 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 many. And this one's called the top five worst Bollywood movie sex scenes. Oh. 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 I can't even name it. I can't five. wait. And I, I can't wait. I can't even oh. name five sex scenes in Indian cinema. Sure you can. Think of all the songs. Just think of all no, the I'm songs. No, I'm talking actual oh. sex. Oh. Displayed on screen. Maybe not obviously in horny detail, but they show. I mean, I guess Kamal Hassan would have most of them. <laughs> yeah. I li his his and and uh, right. uh, Ronnie McCurdy's scene is great. Uh, the sex scene, I mean, what, I, probably at the top of my list. Wonderschlong. It is Wonderschlong. Yeah, parched. and parched with uh, Radhika Apte. Um, there, I but sadly, yeah, I. It's a very very rare for something so <laughs> much a part of the human experience and Indian experience it, because it, yeah, uh, it's it's interesting that. It just is, it doesn't exist, really. And when it does exist, it's typically cringy. But anyways, these are the top five worst. Yeah. And so this will be exciting. Um, let's just get into this. Tired and Refuse Productions always does great videos. Yes, they do. Here we go. There are many things that Bollywood portrays in cinema beautifully. Heartbreak, jealousy, betrayal, and even bromance sometimes. <laughs> Yep. And all these emotions enhanced with some super cheesy sound effects or mantras playing in the background still hit us really hard in our feelings. But mm. one thing Bollywood is still very new to is how to showcase really intimate lovemaking scenes, aka sex. Yep. Even though with movies like Bombay Talkies and all the rom coms and dramas this year, we are taking baby steps towards becoming more progressive. Here, is tried and refused production recalling the best of the best. And I know there are going to be innumerable. You can list down in the comments below. So don't give me a hard time if I have not taken the most hilarious one ever. So here's tried and refused productions with top five hilarious Bollywood sex scenes. Number five goes to Mai Prem Ki Diwani Hu. Definitely one of those movies that is remembered for everything either unintentionally funny or downright stupid. The song is the hey, hey auntie. in the background at the time where Rithik and Karina's romance is blooming. For some reason, next to a bonfire, Rithik Roshan is sitting over there. Karina Kapoor comes and crowns him and unbuttons his shirt. Ah, and damn. He wears that shirt and all this while she's singing. Seems pretty normal for Bollywood rom com standards, right? This is followed by circling around the newly crowned Greek god and him going into random bodybuilding competition. No, that just makes Why sense. Not? This sexy scene is followed by customary rolling on the beach. Of course. Tension of Sanskari mother and father of her whereabouts. Mm -hmm. A sudden shower break. Absolutely. You shower on the, the after the sand. Now in a jungle. And just when you think they are going to get it on, it starts to rain. And she freaking starts running away. Rithik, my boy, was all set, but the girl just started running. <laughs> and then this just again becomes a chase. Her, oh my God, this is so cute ordeal. The climax of all of it is some classic intense Bollywood hugging, hugging yeah. and a realization that they are in love. Guys, just give a standing ovation. And four, then Rithik was pregnant. Gehenna. 
The movie Why wouldn't Rithik pose? Preeti Zinta is a capable actor. Oh, good. And I'm out of home. This is a movie that focused on pre-parenthood <clears throat> pregnancy and the society Ooh. stigma that comes with it has a pretty hilarious scene in which the douchebag Rahul, played by Saif Ali Khan, makes love to Priya, played by Preeti Zinta. So first of all, out of all the places, why they chose an open field is beyond my understanding. Why wouldn't you? Why, uh, never made love in an open field? Cues of the song, and then foreplay with rolling around the grass, because you know that really intensifies the hormones. It does. This, Stirs them up. By some Bollywood singing in Saif Ali Khan's tight leather pants <laughs> and some really intense hugging. Like if there's one thing Bollywood and, and neck kissing, to, it's too hard. Yeah. Shots of the iconic stripped-off clothes on the grass, just the hands sticking out. Hot damn! Together. Yeah. And ultimately, the sigh of relief. Oh, oh. ejaculation. This yes. Scene is quite the comical piece. Because it's everybody, actually, everybody just falls off to the side, side like that. It's actually the more. That that's more than I've seen in most Bollywood yeah, movies. Yeah, no joke. This 1991 movie is something only Bollywood scriptwriters can fathom. Pooja and Avinash have a really intense relationship before their wedding. And the intimate scene primarily with the song Tu Chahat Hai tries to focus on that. But what the creators tried to do is not to make things heat up between the two characters, but use imagery through the art of pottery to spice things up. Ghost. What starts off as light kissing That's and ghost. transitions into pottery. Oh, yeah. Both Handle is clay. And randomly Rahul Rai paints her face with a brush and snuggles Have up. Have you not seen Ghost? I have never seen a more complicated method to engage in intercourse. To top it all, things get so intense for Pooja that she clenches <laughs> with all her might ah! to the masterpiece she was making. I would hope there's some clenching course, at the climax. Running around in the rain will make people forget the randomness that we all experienced initially. Number two goes to Gunda. That wasn't random. Was it? This that's ghost. Yeah, it's an iconic sex scene. Many YouTubers is definitely the best movie ever. Made. <laughs> <laughs> I would just go back in time to find out how the creators explained these scenes. Is that the guy from Misapur? But guys, this intimate lovemaking scene. I don't think so. If it can be considered that, just tops everything. Shakti Kapoor plays Chutia. He okay. has had a vitamin sex tablet which apparently has made him say this. Paid ke andar ja ke aag ki holi khel rahi hai. Gulshan surprisingly after his marriage to Geeta throws her towards Chitia to have all the fun. What proceeds is one of the most bizarre forced love making scenes in cinema history. That doesn't look like love making. Cuddling because you know Bollywood loves aggressive cuddling and hugging. Coupled with dramatic lightning, suddenly there's lightning also happening while he's trying to force fuck the shit out of her. <laughs> Shatia literally kills her. Yes, you heard it right. Shakti Kapoor's character orgasms her to death <laughs> somehow with all clothes on. I don't know what's going to happen in this world. That's the first funny wow. one. Wow. Goes to Khiladiyo Ka Khiladi. This movie, firstly, was one of the biggest hits of 1996. A movie which looks at Akshay Kumar's character trying to win over the trust of Maya played by Rekha. His brave antics and saving mm. her life not only gains her trust, but Rekha falls in love with him too. Mm. Now of course there has to be a song that encompasses this eccentric relationship. That is showcased with the song In the Night No Control. Yes, you heard it right. And the age difference between the two actors is one of the few things that is hilarious and slightly creepy about it. What starts off as a playful Bollywood cheesy dancing number and playing around the pool looks very routine, but close to a minute and a half into it, the scene takes a creepy turn with a random feeding of <laughs> apples and chocolate syrup while Rekha is blindfolded. Heck yeah. The funny thing is that it's not even slow or sensual, but extremely aggressive, <laughs> hilarious, and a bit disgusting. It gets better, guys. The song out of nowhere then transitions. Look at all the water mud as it should be. Is this a song? Because I want to see this song. In the muck. The beautiful I might be looking up this song. Look at all the water. They care about their hygiene and shower later. I actually need to in see the this song. Scene, they reach their bed and I assume that they do the obvious. Oh. Jump into the mud oh. pool How have we not I seen this? Whatever happened to good love making? That, just the that looked like that great love great. making. Activities You've never had good sex, my man. And guys, that was a good <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. That seems like the best sex right there. 
Akshay in the water, Reka in the mud. Does it get any better than that? And you're incorporating food and chocolate? My man. Blindfolds? My man, you need to have better intercourse. The only thing that was missing were the handcuffs and the feathers. Mmm. Ugh. So you're gonna look like a duck. Come on. <laughs> exactly. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, oh boy. I just... Guys, there's... I, I looked it up. There's approximately, roughly, 385,000 people born every day. Do you know that? That's about the rough estimate. Mm. Right? Every human being you see today... Just remember, that's an orgasm. Sex is an essential normative part of life. A celebratory thing, as long as it's not being done in an unhealthy and bad way. And consensually. Exactly. I, it, it Rick, just, we've seen that song. It boggles the mind. Rick, we've seen that song. What song? The Mud and Water one with Reka? Three years ago. No way. I guarantee we didn't know who Reka or actually was. <laughs> was it before I understood the water in Akshay? It had to have been. We got to see it again. Let me wow. see. Wow. So it was three years ago, October. So we definitely didn't know who Reka was. No. Obviously. No way. And, and had we had barely seen... begun October of 2019. Yeah, so we pro... we, we had seen the K Kasari that, uh, of, that, of Akshay. That might have been the beginnings of me understanding Akshay and water. Mm-hmm. Maybe we got to we've got to revisit that. But so I remember when we would watch. We did the Game of Thrones stuff and so many messaged me and the kids astonished that I could watch that show with my adult children. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Oh. Because of the explicit sexual representations. Uh -huh. And it's just. I mean, obviously, I I censored things for my kids when they were little, but once they hit puberty. And we talked very early on about the birds and the bees, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just central to me as a parent was making sure that my kids had a healthy understanding about human sexuality and that they had great sex lives. Why wouldn't you want your kid to have a great sex life? Um, I've also noticed, uh, he said in the video, and it, I've seen it in the comments, that people commenting on that Reka could be his old enough to be his mother in this, which I find absolutely hilarious because I know for a fact Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan, Akshay have had female heroines half their ages and no one says anything. Of course. <laughs> so why do you care the other way around? Of course. What if she, what if Hottie Reka, being however old she was in this, wanted to bang Hottie Akshay? It's the exact same mentality behind what happened when uh, Megan Thee Stallion and, and Cardi B came out with uh, WAP. Mm. Oh! The men have been singing songs like that in hip hop for decades. Yeah. But a woman does it. Oh! Feels like a very sexist comment. It is a sexist comment. It's also an ageist comment. Yeah. I just... If people spent more time trying to be understanding and gracious rather than judgmental and legalistic, the world would be such a better place. Yeah. Uh, How do I not remember that song, though? I know. Well, because it was so long ago. I guess it was almost four years ago. Almost. Three but wherever ago. you go today, remember that. Every human being you see, that's an orgasm. And it means that someone's having well, sex. It means at least one person orgasmed. Well, if you want to be pessimistic about it. Every second of every day. Only one person needs orgasm. In order someone to have somewhere is having sex. It's happening all the time, all around us, everywhere, all of the time. We're sexual beings. Get no. over it. No, we're not. Nope. <laughs> Storks don't bring the babies. Also, that rape scene where he kills her with the ejaculation is crazy. Wow. Also, if Rithik was having sex with me, I'd want him to post. That's a, it reminded me of a, a funny mo monologue I did once in comedy that talked about why this guy can't believe Superman and Lois Lane were ever a couple. Because the moment they consummated their relationship, his Superman sperm would kill her. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Anyways, uh, let us know what you thought about the video. Any further sex scenes that we Yeah, bring on to. the five or six sex scenes that are down below.